When I evaluate someone for facial rejuvenation, I'm really looking at three areas uh, that I can influence. The first would be facial structure, the second would be facial volume, and the third would be the veneer or skin. And depending on which structures are involved and to what degree, that dictates your treatment options. So if uh, someone comes in and they have a gel and laxity in the neck, I'm already thinking surgery. If they come in and their skin is good, but they have the beginnings of hollowing under the eyes, hollowings under what's called the malar bone or cheekbone, then these are individuals that are ideal for injectables. And when I talk about injectables, the injectables I believe in are the hyaluronic acids. Uh, I also will use Radius and Sculptra. The hyaluronic acids are Restylane, Juvederm, and now Voluma. And the physical properties of these fillers dictate where they're best utilized and, um, and that dictates how I use them. So for example, if someone has some hollowing under the eyes called tear troughs, Restylane is a wonderful product for that. It has a little less hyaluronic acid, it's thinner, it's more moldable. And so it can be used to fill this area without being visible or obvious. Nasolabial folds, the area in front of the marionette lines, the pre jowl and the lips are wonderful for Juvederm because Juvederm has a higher concentration of hyaluronic acid, it's bound to itself more tightly, and it lasts longer. Restylane and Juvederm can be used in the same places, but it's how long in duration and how they hold up over time. Voluma is a new hyaluronic acid which is now thicker and it has more lifting power, but because of that it has to be placed more deeply. And so it's a wonderful product for the area under the cheekbone to restore that nice cheek fullness. And that now lasts about 18 months. When I look at the mobile part of the face below the malar bone, but yet above the corner of the mouth, this is an area that does beautifully with Sculptra. And Sculptra is a synthetic product that the body converts to collagen over a period of six weeks. And so, again, depending on the areas that we need to work on, these would be the products and the, the way that I would use them.